Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, I thought it would be fun to read you a story. So the story I'm going to read you is Dragons Love Tacos 2. So it is the sequel to the first story. The author is Adam Rubin, and the illustrator is Daniel Somari. Dragons Love Tacos 2. Here's the title page. Hey, kid. Why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. No more tacos. World in shock. Emergency supplies depleted. Oh my, we've got to do something about this. Listen to me, dragons. Don't freak out. No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time we had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos. Can't loads of tacos, big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because of a totally honest mistake, I'm not blaming anyone here, there were some spicy tacos too. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy trouble. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, well, you know. It says, danger, keep all dragons away from this taco. But now there are no more tacos, none, not a nil. If only we could somehow go back in time to our delicious taco party, before the spicy salsa, of course. We could save a handful of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow taco trees so we never run out of tacos again. The dragons would be so happy. Well, I know we're not supposed to mess with this, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up that time machine in the garage. A time machine lets you travel through time back to the past when you were an itty bitty baby or forward to the future when you were grown to be an old man or in our case, back to the taco party full of tacos. You know what? Let's strap into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. Ready, set. Zam. Wonder what kind of word that is. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there are plenty of tacos here. Let's grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Onomatopoeia. Oh no, look what's happening. Yikes, I sure hope this time machine still works. Give the dial a little twist. We'll have to go back a bit further this time before the dragons eat any spicy salsa. Ready, set, zam. Another onomatopoeia. Hmm, we have gone a bit back far, too far. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh boy, not again. This time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil, that might do the trick. Wait a second, that's not machine oil. It says machine oil brand salsa. Extra super doopy, duper spicy. This may complicate our journey through space some zork. I'm seeing a lot of good onomatopoeias in here. Dragons love diapers? That's not right, let's try again. Uh-oh. Tacos love dragons? Weird, but closer. One more time. Zam. I hope they get it. Dragons love tacos. That's it. Uh-oh. Dragons, quick. Grab some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Zam. Oh, boy. Here we go. We need it. Congratulations. Oh, come on. What are the dragons doing? Uh-oh, they're eating all the tacos. You saved one, phew! We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. The dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers, I mean tacos. Dragons love tacos. Everyone loves tacos. Look at the taco trees. How funny is that? The end. I hope you guys liked that story. I think these um, Dragon Love Taco stories are so funny. So I'm doing a Zoom today at four. I hope to see you there.